advice to young people, and people gave me advice when I was younger, is that if I'm able to figure out myself what it is that I like to spend my time doing, then that will help me to go through life. And some people say, yes, you know, if I do what I love, therefore I don't go to work every day. Ah. I am doing what I love and it still work. There are parts of it on a daily basis, whether it's administration or accounting or contracts, which I do not love to do, um, but I have to do it because in order for me to continue to do what it is that I love to do, which is to design and sketch buildings, um, that's, the, uh, that's what makes it fun. At the end of the day, the opportunities in life, if you're able to perceive them, is your greatest step forward to embedder yourself. And if you're able to do what it is that you love, like this lady here said to me, you know, I did not know that you did this eco resort called Indura in uh, Honduras, which is on a piece of land that was owned by Chiquita Bananas in, in a small town called Tela. But Chiquita Bananas has been there for years. And the reason it is because the rich environment of the earth is so rich there and that the area is surrounded by a natural preserve of beautiful, gorgeous um, a, a trees and a natural preserve of, of an Everglades basically where it's, um, it's known for its monkeys. There's monkeys who run around there so the original name of the project was Los Micos, the monkeys. And the monkeys have a white face, so they're very, they stick out within the mangroves. It's all mangroves. Beautiful, gorgeous, red, black, purple mangroves everywhere. And so within that, you come and you say, do I build a building or do I make something that relates to the DNA of the natural environment there? And that's what we ended up to do this in Dua Resort. And then individuals call you, they text you, they email you and say, oh, I went there. And you know, thank you, it feels good. Mm -hmm. Is it perfect? No, buildings are like people. They're never perfect, but they are, if they can relate to where they are and to the environment that they're from and they are comfortable within that environment, then you arguably have a successful building. And if you watch history and if you learn history of architecture or art, you'll see that repeatedly um, being done and being successful at it.